Welcome. It's April 2024 and Power BI just released a new update featuring Copilot. So I've been asked this question, with all this Copilot artificial intelligence creation, should I be worried? As a Power BI developer, should I be worried that my job will become obsolete? Uh, and so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you this technology, specifically what was released in the April update pertaining to this the Microsoft Copilot plane, pane. We're gonna go through a process where I'm gonna enable it, I'm gonna connect it to a data set, I'm gonna see what it can do, I'm gonna ask it just to build a report for us, I'm gonna ask it to do that a couple of times, we'll look at it together and come to a conclusion. Uh, so now, let's just jump right into Power BI Copilot with the April 2004 release. Let's get into Power BI Desktop, let's go. All right, so here we are. What was released is Copilot functionality. And if you don't know what that is, essentially it's artificial intelligence, text generative AI, where you just type in some stuff and AI will create it for you. And now it's generative. So it's actually making report pages for us. Some people don't have access to this. You have to have a power uh, premium service. You have to have certain things enabled in your tenant. So I'm gonna show you today Answer this question, should you be worried? We're gonna look at this technology together. What was released in April 2024, so you'll see the features as well if you're a developer, is in the pane on the top right-hand side, you can expand and now you can enable Copilot. And it's just kind of built into the developer experience now, which is totally new. So if we turn this pane on and we collapse this, well, it's gonna give us some features and functionality that weren't there before. So first, just to understand what this data model is in two seconds, is there's sales uh, that are connected to dates, there's products, there's stores, and uh, well, actually, let's just ask Copilot to tell us what this data set is. So there's three key things that Microsoft kind of suggests to get going with Copilot. Let me move my picture to the other side. So what they suggest is, you know, summarize this data set, create a report, so we're gonna actually build it, we're gonna see, is this stuff legit? What's going on here? What are the good uses for this AI? So first, I'm just gonna say, summarize this semantic model. And okay, that was quick. So this data set provides a comprehensive view of retail businesses, operations, and companies. So it's a good way to use Copilot to just, if it's the first time connecting to a data set, ask it to explain it to you. It will give you some stuff. You can ask it more questions. But what I'm really curious in this video specifically is how good is it is it at building reports for us? As Power BI developers, are we gonna come obsolete? How do we use this kind of technology? So let's just ask it to build some stuff here. And here's the prompting that it suggests. It really enables it for you. So I'm gonna say suggest content for this report. It's working on it, it's spinning, and it's processed. So now, the artificial intelligence has said, all right, based upon this, you should create a sales performance analysis, customer demographics, maybe stores, product pricing strategy. So all these are really valid. I mean, the core dimensions, what it's doing in the model is there's sales, there's product, there's calculations, there's customers. Uh, so it's really taking the key dimensions and saying, let's build something that analyzes this. And now let's look at it. So for the first one, we'll just hit create click the button and now let's build it okay well what did it do here we'll minimize these <clears throat> so just by default it doesn't give anything that i would be concerned about but it does kind of help just prompt we can use it to our benefit it can say here are some things for you to consider as you're about to build this but in no way is there any worry of this it's just going to magically build dashboards for everybody if you look at what it decided to do, it's counting the products, but it's not doing a distinct count, it's counting rows. So that's not what we'd want to have happen. There's not 29,000 stores. So it's trying to pick stuff and we can use that for, for our advantage. And then it's showing kind of key, key information. You know, I can click in a product category, Xbox, time, and then it will show it by store. So it throws some visuals up there, but definitively, you do not need to be worried about Power BI taking your job. But what you do need to have consideration for is how can I use this to help me? How do I use Copilot to make my Power BI reports better? So what you can do is first, well, 
if you check out this video here in the link, uh, the DAX query capability in the DAX functions now to leverage Copilot preview in this is insane. This is extremely valuable because Copilot can actually write measures for us. This can be something that's tricky. Check out the video, I go through it in detail. That's an extremely huge benefit. But when it comes to creating pages, it's not gonna do amazing work. It, it looks like a, a rookie threw visuals out on a page. If you wanna see how to really make a difference, check out this video as well. It's a, it's a two hour video. It goes through a best practice using Netflix data. Look at this beautiful dashboard. Copilot's not building anything like this. Check out this link, follow that video, and that's how you'll get ramped up. But now let's just keep looking at Copilot. So it created a sales performance analysis. I'm not really getting my questions answered. I don't really know. Okay, so there's count of store IDs by store. I mean, it's, it's just not the best. So let's see if we can edit it. Let's just, let's keep trying. So how about customer demographics? And then the other functionality is to click this edit button. So let's click it. Create a page to examine the demographics of customers and their purchasing behavior. So now what we can do is maybe you have a, um, a request from somebody and they want you to focus in on something. So we can use Copilot to kind of help prompt that. By now, if we select edit, we can change the prompting. So I'll say create a page to examine the demographics, but maybe, um, maybe my boss asked me to make something for based upon age and gender. So I'll just say specifically focus on analyzing age and gender. So let's see what this does. Working on it, it's gonna spin for a little bit. It's going, it's connecting to the model, it's trying to figure out what to do. But again, it's not about being worried at all for this stuff, it's about understanding how can I use it for my benefit? How do I harness this to make me a better developer? And it can absolutely do that. Copilot can 100% make you a better developer, it can make you more efficient, and it can also uh, give you ideas. So again, I mean, we look at this, okay, there's two genders, you know, male, female, count of age, and you know, that's what the model says. Uh, sum of age uh, and year. So these things aren't too impressive. I'm looking at these charts, nothing to write home about. Um, but again, I want to show this to you. So firstly, have some confidence that Copilot is nothing to worry about. It's not gonna take your job but do have an awareness that you need to stay up with it because it's evolving and it's getting fast and it's, it's making a difference. It's gonna make you a better developer. But by looking at these, you know, we'll create another one just for fun, just by default, what it asks to do. There's nothing to be worried about here, but it is a good way to start to unlock. Maybe even if you specifically ask it to focus on a measure. So I know I've created a bunch of different reports off this data set focusing on net sales, all kinds of visuals, things you all have seen. Um, but again, this isn't saying, this isn't doing anything. So finally, in summary, it's nothing to be worried about. It is cool and it can help us, but if you really wanna become a better developer, you gotta just dive in and understand how do you take data and use it to solve problems and answer questions and provide insights to your end users and how to make it look good. A lot of people forget the step of making it look good. This doesn't look good. There's no correlation of color. You gotta have color to help tell the story subliminally. Again, look at this Netflix video. It's gonna really ramp you up on anything if you're curious about getting into that. But this is Copilot. This is what's enabled. Uh, so now you have an awareness of it and the confidence to keep going forward. Um, so you all have a good one. Take care, bye.